Ah, uh, yes, nothing quite like Buffalo in January as we welcome you inside a snowy new era field on the shores of Lake Erie. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an AFC wild card matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway on EA Sports. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Looking to throw on second down. Reeves. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Leopard! Leopard! This is Cohen. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. Back deep, Jakeem Graham. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. up to about the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Here's a second and five now from the 25. All right, here we go. Now Rosen to throw on second down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And all the way down to the 29. A big play here for the Bills. 46 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Green, 39! Green, 39! 
Here's Rosen to throw. Steps away to his left. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. 23 yards on the play. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. Back there in that Philly, here we go. All right now, lucky 56, lucky 56. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Polluting the pressure right. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Hey, hey. Hey. Rosen to throw again. This will be caught just inside the 10. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> you know, the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that. That's why they're able to get to him on it. Third and goal, Rosen. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. So a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today, Paul. This will be taken short. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And now Cleveland geared up to take Detroit, the field. Detroit. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, Detroit, the trade expression Detroit. 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. This is intercepted. Tredavious White with a pin. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. After the interception, here's Rosen. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Last play wound up for Lucky negative 56. yardage, so here's second right, and 11. Lucky 56. Lucky 56. Detroit! Detroit! Hey, hey. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yeah. Maybe that extra hut, you know, <laughs> that, that extra emphasis on it. Got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. And now they face a second and six after the penalty. Back there in that Philly, here we go. Detroit, 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 Detroit. All right, 
right now. Lock at 56. Lock at 56. From the shotgun, it's Rosa. And incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant. And now it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third right, and Lucky six. 56. Lucky 56. From the gun, it's Rosen. Buying time to his left. This is Johnson. He's got it. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. They'll look to throw on first down to Josh Rosen. And a throw here that's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously they liked his measurables. Otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Now contact up front is penalty mark against. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Cut. Again, it's Rosen. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And this might not be the last interception we see, Brandon. Both of these teams like to throw the football, but here in this snow, ball's not going to always go where you want it to. And this one winds up getting intercepted. to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Being chased out left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. To throw on second down. Reeves. Over the middle complete. That's Richardson. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Carry here for Johnson. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. Detroit! Detroit! And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Detroit! Detroit! Ah! Now Cohen. And an alley to run. There he goes inside the 30. And the cutback. To the and all. Touchdown, Cleveland. A big play there. 45 yards. And the Browns were able to cash in for six. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
This is taken at his four. And some good coverage there by the kick team as they'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally I didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And he'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he'll lose yardage here back to the 15. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. On second down, Rosen. Forced out to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Miles Garrett able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. And with a third and 14, we have six defensive backs out there now defensively. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Detroit! Detroit! They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Leopard! Leopard! Ah! Looking to throw on second down. Reeves dumping it off for Johnson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. They run. This is Cohen. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a Cleveland first down at 11-yard pickup. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes you'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Gone, 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 gone. Throwing on first down. Reeves throwing the out route and complete. That's Richardson. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now they'll run it with Cohen, and he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And when you get good yards like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more AFC playoff action after this timeout. To throw on third down. Reeves, screen play, Johnson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And this score will stay right where it is. And there is nothing easy about being a kicker on a day like this. Yeah, I tell you, not only is the footing tough in the snow, but kicking that ball is like kicking a rock. Very difficult to get any sort of feel on your kicks. on first down. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Second and ten now, it's Rosen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's James. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. The Browns offense trotting back onto the field, and we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. They begin the drive on the ground with Cohen, and not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call a timeout. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Watch it now, Barney, Barney! Watch it now, Barney, Barney! 
And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five at the four. And a timeout here. Timeout taken, whistles blown. Timeout taken by the receiving team as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And he'll try and hurry the kick, gets it away, but it's not looking that great. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than the three that you just noted that you feel like you already have. Be aggressive, go after it, and try and get those points. No, so no, from no, the 36 no, now, Patrick, first Patrick. and ten. First down, it's Rosen. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Second and ten, it's Rosen again. He's going to loft it, deep right sideline. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wildcard game. And they're going to be set up in excellent field position up past the 45. That strong return has set them up nicely for this drive, and we all know the next score is going to have a major impact on this game. So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10. Now Rosen. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll make it second down. going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Three yards on the keeper, and it's fourth down. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Oh. 
And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So they oh, no, tried the 59-yarder and missed it. And now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. Detroit! Detroit! On first down, Reeves. He'll leave it for Cohen. Complete. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. On second down, Johnson. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37th. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Leopard! Leopard! To throw on second down. Reeves, he's going to air one out. Landry, and this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry, 33 yards. And the Browns add six to their lead. And the defensive there, that was a battle. He just made a really nice play. A really nice play, making sure his body position was correct. And how about the throw? Zipped it in there. And it results in the touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And they'll be set up with good field position here as he gets this up over the 40-yard line. It's the third quarter, and they're down on the scoreboard. And while no one wants to hit the panic button just yet, points are a necessity on this drive. What a great way to get set up. Rosen on first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. And that's incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Rosen again on second and 10. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 48. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Jakeem Grant now to return. Then he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. After the pick six. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! 
Throwing now, Rosen on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game. And they reacted poorly on that Detroit, one. So Detroit. the penalty now moves it up. It's second and ten. Gone, 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 gone. Now Rosen looking to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. Oh, no, this quarterback six. now, five straight completions here in this second half, gone, first gone. and 10. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Ah. Rosen will throw. Flush to his right. He's going to let this go deep. And this is taken in at the five. And he takes this way down deep into Cleveland territory. A big play here for Buffalo. 43 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Second down, here's Rosen. Dancing to his left, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Miles Garrett in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. Rosen looking. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Detroit! 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 Fourth down, here's Rosen. And this is going to be intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was in advised. But that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception. And now their task is even tougher. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Detroit! Detroit! Hot! Hot! Looking to throw on second down. Reeves throwing the out route incomplete. It's Richardson. 
A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. On third down, Reeves. And he's going to be grabbed and pulled down. Tyler Davison able to drop it for a loss of 12, and it'll be fourth down. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And here come the Bills. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence no, 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 has no, to be Patrick, shaking a little Patrick. bit. And you just wonder. Is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now he steps away. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. I'm trying to decipher what's going on out there because I don't know if he's just getting bad reads. I don't know if the defense is confusing him. I don't know if he just no, has, no, no, you know, Jack, bad Patrick, info Patrick. and intel before he snaps the ball, but he's made some pretty bad decisions Jack, with the football Patrick. lately. There's several bad decisions on the interceptions he's thrown, and frankly, that should have been another pick right there. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the penalty certainly helps them out as they come up on second and five. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Detroit! Detroit! Ah! Here's Rosen. Steps away to his left. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Oh, yes, that was good pressure applied that time by the defensive unit. They forced him out wide to his left, but with nobody home, he decided to tuck it and go, and he's able to turn it into a short game. Rosen to throw on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't even save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So that one will be accepted. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. 
He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up with that moment of truth and make a play on the football. chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing again, it's Rosen. They'll check this one down to Michelle. And he's taken down inside the 30. 10 more there and another first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Under four to go now as they come up on right, second now, lucky down. 56. Lucky 56. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Brianne Body Calhoun. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, Throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, Detroit! that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! Ah! Now a play fake here on first down. Looking deep down. They've got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll hand it off now. Johnson fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Again. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It's a loss of two, now third down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Detroit! Detroit! Ah! Now a handoff, Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. I know it looks easy to a lot of people when you're kicking the ball. I mean, it looks pretty simple, right? Snap, put it down, kick it. But playing in the snow... 
That could throw off your timing just a bit, and that can wreak havoc, as we just saw there. Well, it throws off the timing, and I just think it's an extra advantage for the team that's Detroit, coming in to block Detroit. it because they've got a hold on the offensive side, and, of course, the kicker and holder and snapper, they've got a lot to deal with. What can't be underestimated is the person catching the ball, the holder, and putting it down. You talk about cold hands, snowy weather, ball can get slippery on you. It's a lot of extra pressure on that person. And they're able to get it down, but a nice job to get in and block go on, it. Go on, go on, go on, go on. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. They go play action here on first down, sliding out of the pocket, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Miles Garrett able to disrupt yet another pass play, his third sack of the afternoon. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position, couldn't hold on, third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Here's Rosen to throw. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Now it's Rosen. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off at the 30. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. They were looking for Johnson that time. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. Right, He's thrown five six. picks. Lucky At this point, six. you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could right, be now, so lucky many 56. different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Well, one win down, still three to go to get to the most hollowed ground in sports, but a good start. A terrific start because they get to move on. Unfortunately for the team that lost, it's a long offseason ahead for them now.